and welcome to Alaska Family Vlogs. I am here right beside our rose bush because the rose hips are ready to harvest. And I'm going to make some rose hip oil. So you want to wait until after the first frost actually to harvest rose hips. You can see how big they are. So I'm just going to pick them and then show you how to make rose hip oil, which is really good for your skin. You can buy it in stores, but since I have all these gorgeous rose hips, I will show you how to make it. Um, as you can see, after the frost, they're, they're softer, so they're not so hard. Like before the frost, they're hard. So I just picked this many, and I'm actually not sure if I'm going to use all of them or not. And so now I'm going to take off this right here, kind of where the flower has closed up. Just take those off, throw them on the ground. I'm going to take all those off until they look like this. You can see the seeds inside, and the seeds are good. You want the seeds in this oil. So here we have um, about a dozen that have been destemmed and laid out on my sheet for the dehydrator. And I'm going to put them in the dehydrator for about 15 hours to start with and then see how they are from there. So I went ahead and dried them in the dehydrator for 24 hours because they weren't quite as dry as I wanted them to be after 15 hours. And let me just reach in and grab one. So that's what you can see. They actually could be even drier than they are now. Uh, it's not wanting to zoom in. Um, so you don't you don't have to do this in a dehydrator. You can also dry them in the oven on a low setting or just lay them out. I would, if you're going to just lay them out, I would go ahead and cut them open. And here you can see all the seeds, but you want the seeds because they are really rich in vitamins and um, they're a big part of the oil. So I just went ahead and picked up some sweet almond oil from our local health food store. And I'm going to use this whole bottle of oil and pour it on top of the rose hips. why it's staying so blurry. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure all of this gets in there. So there it is. And I'm actually going to stick it back into the dehydrator on 50 degrees for 4 to 8 hours. Okay, so now I had the oil in the dehydrator for about eight hours, and then I let it sit just in the jar um, for about 24 more hours covered with a lid. And so now I'm getting ready to strain it. So all you're going to need is some kind of cheesecloth, because that's going to keep the seeds and all the other little fine things from getting into your oil. You're going to need some kind of measuring container and here I have a two cup measuring cup and not because you need to measure something but just it's easier to pour out of and also you're gonna need um, a funnel if you have a small thing like I do which you're gonna pour it in and a rubber spatula to get all the last bits of the good oil out of your containers so now all you're going to do is strain the oil into your measuring cup. You can see the oil right there and there's still some dripping out so you can just um, kind of squeeze to get all the oil out of the rose hips. So you want every last drop that you can get. Also, you can tie this up and just let it drip for an hour or so. 
whichever you prefer. So there's the finished result and I'm just going to pour it up in this jar and label it. So guys, that's it. It's really as easy as that. I also added a little bit of vitamin E oil because this is also really good for your skin and it acts as a preservative. Um, speaking of preservatives, you want to put your oil either into a dark bottle like this or keep it in a dark spot like in a cupboard or somewhere that's dark because rosehip seed oil is a little bit sensitive to light. Um, let me know in the comments below if you tried out this recipe. If you use rosehip oil in general anyways, um, if you did try out this recipe, let me know what essential oils, if any, you decided to use and what you think about this oil. So rosehip oil is really good for the skin, stretch marks, scars, uh, acne problems, or dark spots, really anything. If you continually use it, it will really decrease the appearance of those things. Sorry about the quality of this video. I know it's really grainy and there's a lot of S sounds. My camera actually went out, so now I have to get a new camera. Anyways, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.